I fell in love with Amit because I feel it's important to make sure that the children of Israel are given the same kind of benefits and education and excellence in education as I want my children to have. Even before Dina got involved, I remember Amit back when people used to call it American Mizrahi women. Whole different world back then. My earliest childhood memories are of my grandmother, Annette Rennick, and her sister, Gwen Strauss, proudly wearing their Mother in Israel pins wherever they went. That history and that commitment continue with my mother, who spent many years in Long Island working the Long Island chapter and committing herself to broadening Amit's reach. About 15 years ago, when Amit decided to start a new generation board of young women to get active in Amit, I was asked to become involved and I've been active at many levels since. She has completely devoted her time to the children of Amit and I think she has also now passed this on to our children who have spent their time at Amit schools. multi-generational, it is men, it is women, it's young people, it's children, it really covers everybody. My oldest son Benjamin had his bar mitzvah celebration at an Amit school where we worked and developed and created a music room and a music program for the children in the school actually named after my aunt, the Gwen Strauss Center down in Beersheba. It's not just about the heartstrings and about the Beit Hayelads, while those are so important, it's about the fact that 95% of our students go to the Army. It's about the fact that 85% of our students are passing the Bagrut. It's about the fact that the children who graduate on me are becoming the highest echelons in Israeli society. They are the winners of mathematic competitions, robotic competitions. They are really given every opportunity that my children are being given, and that's one of the things that I love about Amit. Her work at Amit benefits children who suffer economically as well as educationally. The only way for an organization to continue to be successful and to have continuity is if young people are involved. What's most important about having young people like I would say I was is that it's a pipeline. One day you'll be sitting at that mother in Israel luncheon with your grandchildren saying wow I really passed on a legacy to my children about this amazing organization that means so much to me. Amit really brings together my wife's greatest advocations, commitments, and beliefs in the world. Family, education, and the Jewish people. Meeting these children and seeing what you're doing to help them is unbelievable. An educated society is a successful society. Because of our mom and not so much our dad, we've really been involved in Amit our entire lives from Israel trips to my bar mitzvah project to family fun days to soul cycle classes and really everything in between. I mean, it's always been a part of our lives. If Amit is so great, why don't we just all move to Israel and go to Amit schools? It's funny, they got to do Arab. Not that old yet. Mazel to mom and dad. We love you. We want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and supporting Amit and supporting us and uh, this amazing cause and a special thank you to our mothers who are here tonight supporting us and a little shout out to Benjamin who's in Israel studying for the year. We miss you. And we just hope everyone enjoys the rest of the evening and remember there's nothing the children would want more than if you have a good time and a couple of drinks tonight. L'chaim.